Mm -hmm. Oh, I should take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um, today I will be hauling um, one of my first, well, no, not one of my first. This is like my second luxury item. So today I'm gonna be hauling um, one of my first luxury wallets that I have. Um, I recently ordered a Fendi um, coin pouch. So I'll show you. The box that came in was a plain box. We're just gonna hop right into it. Um, it came in a plain box. I kind of was a little bit upset at the at how it was at how it was packaged yeah i was a little bit upset at how it was packaged um so i'll just show you what i saw when i opened the box so show you that okay so essentially this is how it looks when you open the box so this is a copy of the return slip um, label that just came like that. And then this is the paper invoice, just plain folded in the box. And this is how it came. So it has plain, so I'm trying to make it focus. It has plain tissue paper. Um, and then the box just comes in the box like that. Um, I was a little bit disappointed because I ordered a pair of Gucci slides. I'm just using this as a comparison. Um, and the Gucci slides came in a plain brown box like this. But inside the box, it came with a Gucci bag. And then the Gucci box was inside the Gucci bag. And so it was like packaged a little bit nicer. And also another thing, I'm trying to see if I still even have also for the Gucci slides, um, the paper invoice came in like a really nice, thick, like Gucci um, envelope. And it was just like, it, would, it was just very classy. Like everything inside the box was very, very classy. And like it made me feel good when I opened the box and saw like the care that was t taken when, when packaging it. Like this feels like it was just kind of haphazardly thrown in the box. So that part kind of caught me off guard um, a little bit. So let's get into the box. It's a nice thick cardboard box. This is Fendi. And this is how it looks when you open it. So another thing is like I was kind of expecting to see a dust bag um, like I kind of really badly wanted there to be a dust bag when I opened this box so it was a little disappointing that there was no dust bag but I guess I'll get over it um, so this is how it looks this is their coin purse so it's like a medium soft leather on the back. It's not too soft. And the leather on the front is really buttery and smooth feeling. So it comes with a nice gold tassel pull. <laughs> and this is how it looks when you open it. This is the inside and it comes with a little, I almost forgot that it came with this. It comes with a little um, hook to hook your keys on. I don't think I'll be actually holding my keys on this. Um, I'll probably just leave it hanging like that. So this is how it looks on the inside and it has, uh, one of the things that attracted me to buying this coin pouch from this brand versus um, other brands I was looking at. I was looking at Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Um, this size is a lot bigger than the other brands. Like for example, I'll have to insert a picture. I was watching someone else's video. I'll insert a picture and I'll put her, um, her YouTube username on the screen. Um, the Louis Vuitton um, coin purse was like 
maybe like one third of the size of this um so yes this one is more expensive than the louis vuitton one but i feel like i'd rather have a more practical size with something that i enjoy would enjoy using more and it's more versatile than having something that's super small and i feel like i can't really fit anything in it um so that's why i went with the fendi one and fendi is very very in right now so i will get my current wallet that i have now and i'll show you like how much stuff you can fit in this this is my first time doing this type of video so pardon me if it's like kind of <laughs> not as detailed i'm gonna try to be as detailed as i can so this is my old wallet this is actually a sephora from sephora it's a little bit bigger than the fendi so a further size um, comparison, I have my old iPhone 6 Plus, or no, my old iPhone 6S, so it's about the same exact width as an iPhone 6S, and then I have my old iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, so if you can see, it's around the same, the same like height a little bit as the 7 Plus. Okay, so now we're going to see how much I can fit in here. So this is my old wallet. Opening it up, I have one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. I'm just gonna stuff them all in and see. So, so this is eleven cards going in at once. And it closes perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to add, this is my birth control pill pack. <laughs> okay, now it's getting a little bit harder to close because that was kind of thick. No, the clothes is fine. It is bulging out a little bit more now with the um, pill pack in it. I'll put my ID in one of these pouches, okay? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're down to eight cards in. Two cards on the back and a birth control pill pack. You can fit a lot in here and it's not really gonna bulge um, I don't have any dollar bills on me and I took all the change Let's see I have a few coins not that much I'm gonna add that in too just like on I guess on the side It fits a lot of stuff. It's good. It feels good in my hands. I love the Fendi logos. It's nice and clean. I love the red on the back. So, it goes with a lot of stuff too. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be easy to style. So this is how it'll look when you're holding your phone at the same time. It's a really nice size wallet. It's not too big, not too small. It's perfect. I love it. Yeah, so that is the end of my unboxing video. I'm really excited to start using my new wallet. 
Um, I have a few other... I know this is kind of a random video. Um, if you're interested, I have some beauty-related videos on my channel, so check those out. And thank you for watching until the end.